Thank you, Joy. Will everyone please be seated? My name is Brad O'Hara, and I'm the Vice President Academic and Provost of Langara College, and it is my great pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremonies this afternoon and to welcome all of you, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and special guests to the Langara College uh, graduation celebration. Before we get into today's ceremony, I'd like to take care of a few announcements. First of all, I'd like to inform you that this ceremony is being videoed to allow our guests in the overflow room to view the ceremony and to also allow us to have live streaming of the ceremony on our website. Some portions of the video may also be used on the college's website to promote participation in future graduation ceremonies. Finally, I would like to remind everyone to please turn off your cell phones, Blackberries, or other gadgets that may make noise and disrupt today's convocation. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of our platform party. Please stand as I call your name, and I would ask that the audience hold their applause until I have introduced the entire party. Mr. Roy Dakin, President and Chief Executive Officer of Langara College. Dr. Mark Smith, Board Governor. Ms. Lynn Carter, President of the Langara Faculty Association. Ms. Mary Charles, Elder from Musqueam. Dr. Rosalind Coonan, President of Rosalind Coonan and Associates Incorporated and today's keynote speaker. Mr. Dennis Deneen, Chair, Langara College Foundation Board and past Chair, Board of Governors. Mr. Dean Satuas, Board Governor. Ms. Teresa Liu, Board Governor. Dr. Ian Humphreys, Vice President, Enrollment and Business Development. Ms. Don Palmer, Associate Vice President, Human Resources. Mr. Barry Colson, Associate Vice President, Administration and Finance. Ms. Charlotte French, Registrar and Director of Enrollment Services. Ms. Marg Heldman, Dean, Faculty of Science. Dr. Julie Longo, Dean, Faculty of Arts. Mr. Ian McBain, Dean, Faculty of Social Sciences and Management. Mr. Daryl Keene, Division Chair of Social Sciences and Business. Mr. Spencer Dane, Department Chair, School of Management. Ms. Sue Street, Executive Director, College Advancement. Mr. Clayton Monroe, Dean, Student Services. And Mr. Dan Thorpe, Dean, Continuing Studies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today's platform party. As well, we're delighted and honored to have in attendance some special guests, and I would ask that they please stand so that they can be recognized. Uh, Mr. Jazz Sandu, who's a member of the Langara Board. Is Jazz here? No? Okay. Uh, Dr. Martin Gerson, Dean of the Vancouver Campus, New York Institute of Technology, and more noteworthy, retired Vice President, Academic and Provost Langara College. Ms. Ayla Carpio, President of Spetz Association Services and member of the Co-op Program Advisory Committee. Ayla here? No. Okay. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite Elder from Musqueam, Mary Charles, to bring traditional territorial greetings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and to all the graduates, I'm just so very proud of you. I, I know I'm a complete stranger to you, but you make me so proud. And I'm very honored to welcome you to our Musqueam traditional territory. Musqueam is about 15 minutes from here, maybe 20. And half an hour ago, I didn't know I was going to be here, but I'm very honored and, <laughs> and very privileged. And as I say, I'm so proud of the graduates. You know, I, I didn't graduate from college or anywhere else. I got uh, married very young, and I was a mother very young. And um, as all mothers out there, 
No. Once you're a mother, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a banker, you're a chef, you're a taxi, you're a teacher. But anyway, I love my life and I have a lovely family. And um, as I always say, you're not here to hear the Mary Charles story. So I just happened to have this little piece of paper in my purse and on the way down I found it. I've had it there for years. So I'll uh, dedicate it to the graduates and I say I thank you so much for this great honor. This is a special day, Great Spirit, a time to celebrate the achievements of the past and to anticipate the promises of the future. May you all look back with happiness on the goals you have accomplished, the dreams you've realized, the, friend, the friendships you've shared, and may your future be filled with wonder experiences and challenges and all the success you deserve. May your hopes and dreams, your courage and faith create all the beautiful tomorrows you dream of. The world needs fine young people with an optimistic view the world needs fine young people to give just like you. May the good great spirit love you and guide you forever. May your days be rich with joy. May your successes be frequent. May you have peace and comfort. And may your hearts know just how great you all are. Haichka, Haichka in my dialect is thank you. I thank you all for this privilege. Now, for somebody who was pressed into action 30 minutes ago, I think she did a darn fine job. And I want to thank you for those very thoughtful words and for springing to action and being so flexible to help us in our hour of need. And we have a small gift of appreciation. Thank you so much. Thank you with all my heart. Thank you. Thank you. And I must leave. I know. We'll take you down here. Thank you, Mary, and thank you, Larry. On behalf of Langara College, I would like to uh, now introduce Roy Dakin, President and CEO of Langara College. Thank you, Dr. Hare. I too would like to uh, echo my thanks to Mary Charles today for stepping in and helping us in our, our time of challenge. Uh, it's a great way to spend and see people help in times of need. Good afternoon, board members, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Langara's 47th Convocation. This is an important day where we recognize the success of our students, their hard work, and their outstanding achievement. This is also the first year where Langara will recognize outstanding contributions of past members of our community with the award, awarding of the emeritus designation. From the quality of the graduates we have in front of us, it is easy to believe in education and the power it has to transform. For the Langara graduating class of 2013, you are leaving us at a time of great opportunity. You only have to look at the results from Canada's most recent census to understand how large this opportunity is. In the simplest of terms, there are now more people retiring than people entering the workforce. This is coupled with the new jobs being created by economic expansion. You will have substantial opportunities available to you. Now this may be tempered by longer careers and later retirements, but make no mistake, 
there will be more opportunities and available skilled people to fill them. This will evolve over time. So as you form your networks and you build your communities, how do you take full advantage of what this has to offer? You are off to a great start. To help realize your potential, you have many advantages. You have been exposed to more knowledge and more understanding than any class before you. And as resource economies build and shift, as the world becomes even more connected, you live at a time when your ability to access and interpret information, turning it into knowledge, will be the currency of the day. One challenge we do face is that the future is not yet here. So understanding that the skills you will require to take full advantage of that future are still, in part, unknown. You need to plan. You need to be ready for that unknown. So stay aware. Maximize your ability to adapt and develop. Because rest assured, the world will not wait for you. Take advantage of this ability to adapt, and this will aid you in experiencing more than any previous generation, and you will, you will be leaders of opportunities we do not yet understand or envision. This also means that many of you, this will not be your last graduation. Change will likely require you to engage with more formal learning at different points in your life. More importantly though, you need to stay engaged in learning your entire life. Learning is the lifeblood of a civil society. Embrace it, enjoy it, plan for it, so that you can take full advantage of what your learning and that opportunity has to offer. I want to challenge you as well. I would suggest that education isn't just about careers and knowledge. It also means a better understanding in a broader world context. It is important today to obtain ideas, perspective, and texture of our world stage. It is then necessary to then create, innovate, and contribute to the communities we live and we serve. Act on this. Become the leader in your community that you are part of. Access ideas, cultures, and discussions from around the world and claim your participation as a global citizen. I now would like to thank all of the parents, families, friends who have supported and sacrifice to help today's graduates to this new beginning, new beginning and the journey that has brought you here. You all need to know that your involvement is very important and closely related to the success of your learners. I think I can speak on behalf of the graduates in thanking you for all that you have done and will continue to do as they take their next step in their journey. To the graduates, you will soon be Langara alumni. I invite you to be active alumni, to help support future learners, and to build your network in the broader Langara community. John Maxwell may have said it best, successful and unsuccessful people do not vary greatly in their abilities. They vary in their desires to reach their potential. I look forward to hearing about all you achieve. Congratulations again. Live the life you imagine. Enjoy this day and look forward to all that is to come. Thank you. Thank you, Roy, for those fine remarks. Now I will ask Mark Smith to bring greetings from the Langara College Board of Governors. Mark. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. 
It's an honor for me to be here and speak to you on behalf of the Langara College Board of Governors. As part of a faculty here at Langara and a member of the College Board, I have to tell you that graduation has been one of the most and will continue to be one of the most rewarding experiences for me here at the College. For the entire College community to come together to recognize and celebrate the efforts of its graduates and all the people who support them is what makes us all part of one community. All of you graduates have accomplished so much and yet a world of opportunities is just beginning to unfold before you. Personally, I am very envious of your accomplishments. So, and so, on behalf of the Langara College Board of Governors, I thank you for all your dedication. I congratulate you on your accomplishments and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I'll now ask Lynn Carter, president of the Langara Faculty Association, to bring greetings from the faculty. Lynn? Thank you, Brad. Uh, I want to acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of the Musqueam people and to thank them and particularly to thank Elder Mary Charles for being here today. Board members, President Dakin, honored guests, colleagues and graduates. On behalf of the faculty, it is my pleasure to extend to all of you our very best wishes on this special day. As your instructors, counselors, librarians, We've had an opportunity to meet and work with all of you at some point during your studies here at Langara. We've enjoyed being a part of your successes and achievements. We were pleased to assist you when you wanted to select a course of study, when you wanted to find material for a particular project, or simply wanted further explanation about a course you were taking. We know that many of you made sacrifices to complete your studies. Some of you had to overcome significant barriers. You gave up time with your families. Some of you had to live below the poverty line in order to attend school. We appreciate and commend you for your dedication and your commitment. Teaching and working with you has been a rich, rewarding learning experience for us. You've helped us to find new ways to present course material. You've always been quick to tell us about what worked for you in a course and quick to tell us what didn't. We thank you for that. Some of you will be going on to jobs and other Others of you will be going on to further study, and some of you will be doing both. We thank you for having chosen to study here with us at Langara, and we wish you all the best in your future. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Lynn. Now I give you President Dakin once again, who will honor our student award recipient, as well as recognize one of Langara's first emeritus designees, Roy. Thank you, Brad. The President's Medal for Academic Excellence and Community Service recognizes a student graduating from a bachelor's degree program with a high cumulative grade point average and a volunteer community service. I am very pleased to present this year's President Medal for Academic Excellence and Community Service to Christian Weston. say about you still. <laughs> Christian is graduating from the Bachelor of Business Administration with a cumulative grade point average of 3.93. Yes. Christian was a driving force behind Langara's first TEDx event. He has joined the Langara School of Management Program Advisory Committee and is excited to be working on a number of projects to engage alumni, business, and the local community. He continues to work on a number of other community service projects, including Sam Sullivan's public salons. Christian is currently applying to graduate programs for organizational psychology and hopes to enter a career, a career in which he can help develop leadership skills and find greater effectiveness and satisfaction in their jobs. Congratulations, Christian. Oh, 
have to stand over here now. <laughs> uh, here we are. This is a very special year for Langara with the awarding of our first emeritus de designations. And I have the privilege today of uh, announcing our first winner or uh, recipient. This year, this honorary title is being conferred to retired faculty or professional staff to recognize outstanding service and accomplishments. Doug Sue. You get to walk up here, Doug. Doug Sue was Langara's first Dean of Continuing Studies. During his 15-year tenure with Langara, the division became the BC leader in adult programming, growing to offer more than 400, sorry, 500 courses and 40 certificate programs, a highly successful English as a second language program, and a strong contract training division. Under his leadership, enrollments increased from 3,500 registrants to over 40,000, an 11-fold increase. <laughs> Doug was also very active in the outside Langara community. And for this service, he received two noteworthy awards. Canada's 125th Anniversary Commemorative Medal for Service to the Community and Honorary Life Membership with the Association of Community Education in BC. Langara is proud to add to this list by awarding Doug Sue the title of Dean Emeritus Continuing Studies. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you, President Dakin, and congratulations uh, once again to our student award winner, Christian, and to Doug, who is one of three emeritus designees being recognized over these two days of graduation ceremonies. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rosalind Coonan, who in a few minutes will deliver this afternoon's convocation address. Dr. Coonan is one of those rare economists who can make the often difficult subject of economics understandable and interesting. Now, I must say that that's a very laudable accomplishment, as many of us who have studied economics probably don't use those two descriptors in the same breath when they talk about economics. Dr. Coonan started her educational journey in Quebec and Ontario, but completed her PhD in economics at the University of British Columbia. She's been honored with the Crystal Ball Award by the Association of Professional Economists, the Woman of Distinction Award by the YWCA, and a Canada 125 medal for service to our country. Dr. Coonan is also a member of the Distinguished Order of Canada, and the University of Victoria has also granted her an honorary Doctor of Laws. Dr. Coonan is chair of the Haida Enterprise Corporation and has served in our community in many other positions, including chair of the Vancouver Stock Exchange, director of the Business Development Bank of Canada, director of the Canada West Foundation, Chair of the Vancouver Crisis Center, and Vice President of the YWCA. During her outstanding career, she has published books, written a weekly newspaper column, taught at several Canadian universities, and served 20 years as regional economist for the federal government in British Columbia and in the Yukon. Currently, she is uh, serving in private practice as a consulting economist. Uh, economist. Please give a big Langara welcome to Dr. Rosalind Coonan.
Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me, and congratulations to all the graduates. I'm going to give you two graduating presents. The first is a list of five steps to a successful career in the 21st century, and the second, in the interest of work-life balance, is a little tip on how to have a good life. So first of all, the five steps to a successful career. We're going to look upon your career as a journey. We're going to draw the analogy between going on a trip and the trip of your life, your career. And the first step of any trip, and one that almost everybody forgets to mention when they're planning a trip, when you start a journey, you have to say goodbye to the people, to the things, to the places you are leaving. And what you students, graduates, new entrants now or after further study to the labor market have to say goodbye to is the old world where you graduated, you got your degree, your certificate, your qualifications, you found yourself a nice job, preferably with dental plan, and you were set for life. Say goodbye to that world. It was very nice. Maybe your parents had it. It is not there anymore. So you have to say whatever you have to do to say goodbye, drink beer, sing sad songs, say goodbye to it. It's not there anymore. And in a way, that's a good thing because getting a nice job, even with all the benefits, and doing it for 40 years sounds a little bit more like a jail sentence anyway. So say goodbye to the old world, and then you'll be ready to embrace all the new exciting things in the new world. So our journey, we've said goodbye. The next step is your ticket. Your skills are your ticket. And you have all, by virtue of graduating and sitting here today, you all have acquired sets of skills. Uh, they may not be, they, they won't be, they definitely will not be as Roy Deacon just told you, all the learning you're ever going to do in your life, but you have got one very, very valuable skill here that you will use all the rest of your life, and that is learning how to learn. Some people like to think, well, you know, I'll take a course, I'll get a piece of paper, I'll get a job, and I'll be set, and I don't want to have to go to school again, even though you might be feeling just a little bit no nostalgic about leaving school right now. One, uh, one woman asked me, she said she had been subject to the changes of the world and she'd lost her job and she knew she had to get some more skills and she wanted to get skills so she'd never have to be worried about her future career again. She wanted long-term permanent security and she called me up and she says, if I take a program in computer systems, will computer systems be in demand for the next 20 years? The fact that she said 20 years, you can figure out how old she was. And I said, Definitely, and she was very happy. I said, for sure, computer systems and people who can work on computer systems will be in demand 20 years from now. But the computers and the systems that they will use have not yet been invented. So your ticket is your skills, but it is a ticket you will continually have to upgrade. Now, as you know, this is a global economy. And to travel in a global economy, you need more than a ticket. You need a passport. And your passport is your network. And uh, I often tell younger students, I often make younger students very unhappy. I go to kids in high school, and I tell them a whole bunch of really nasty things. I say, in the real world, spelling counts. <laughs> and then I tell them, be nice to your parents' friends. <laughs> because your family, your friends, your parents' friends are the beginning of your network. And the network is the password. It's not, you know, as cynical people say, it's not what you know, it's who you know. One of the nasty three-letter words of the 21st century is and. So you need your ticket and your passport. You need your skills and your network. And so you need to be nice to your parents' friends. You need to network with the people you are graduating with, 
with your professors. They are in your field. They are very good people to keep in touch with. With anyone else you come in contact with, whether it's playing sports, whether it's in your faith community, almost anything you do, except sitting alone in front of a screen, is networking. And so it is very important to network, and some people don't like networking, and they think of it as sales, and it makes them feel uncomfortable. I've gotten into trouble a few times in my life, and once when I was being given my honorary degree, I said some people treat networking like being a bad insurance agent and just going to some event, some cocktail party, and dealing out business cards. The other person getting an honorary degree was the head of London Life. <laughs> Be careful what you say. But networking isn't just who can help me find work, who can give me connections, who can do things for me. A network is like a fishing net, which is easier to picture than the internet. The strands go in all directions. And if you want to be successful at networking, don't concentrate on what you're getting out of your network. Concentrate on what you're putting in. Who can you help? Who can you support? Who do you know that you can introduce to someone else that might help them? If you concentrate on what you put into the network and you all have a lot more to contribute than you think you do. And think of it in those terms, you will have a very productive network and that will be your passport to a good career. The uh, fourth step is think entrepreneurially. Think like an entrepreneur. And to think like an entrepreneur is very easy. You just ask the entrepreneurial question. And the entrepreneurial question, this is where my background as an economist comes out, the entrepreneurial question is, what good or service can I supply that someone is willing and able to pay for? What good or service can I supply that someone is willing and able to pay for? And if you can find an answer to that question, you will have a successful career. It may not be in a job. Though even in a job, if someone is going to hire you, you have to give them enough value to make it worth their while to pay you your wages. It may be in the form of self-employment, in the form of contract work, in the form of using the hiring halls on the net that put people who want work done and people who want to do work together, maybe in any of the other forms. And most likely, it will not be in a job. Here's another dismal economist statistics. By 2020, I have an American statistic. I don't have the Canadian one yet. 2020 is only seven years away. By 2020, half the people working in the United States will be self-employed. Right now, it's about a third and rising. <coughs> so ask the entrepreneurial question and then look for ways you, how you can find the kind of people to whom you can add value, who you have a good or service that will help them, and you will have a very successful career. The fifth step is dream big. I started my career a long time ago in the government, and I was an economist, and they offered a seminar on retirement planning, and us nasty-minded economists, I thought retirement planning, okay, that means saving and present value and calculating inflation and tax rates, and what will I need for my retirement? And all. You know, I was just brand new, I was about the age of most of the, or younger even than some of the graduates here, and, and thinking my retirement, but us nasty economists think like that, so I said, I'd better go to this retirement seminar. And the government, in its wisdom, sent me off to this retirement seminar, and it wasn't about financial planning at all. In fact, they played games. The first game was, write your own obituary. <laughs> Thank you, no. The second game was, imagine a perfect day. Well, that one I could do. I was at the beginning of my career, so my perfect day was working. And in my perfect day, in the morning, I finished a piece of research. Doing research is hard, slogging work. Finishing it and seeing the results is fun. And then in the afternoon of my perfect day, I presented the results of my research to an audience. 
Well, I said, what a waste of time to go to that retirement seminar. I went on and had my career, and it was about 25 years later. I found myself standing in front of an audience, and I realized my dream had come true. I do research, I hire on a contract mode, not a job mode, the people to help me with the hard slogging parts of my research, and I present the results of my research to audiences. So the fifth step, dream big, may your dreams all come true too. And finally, in the interest of work-life balance, because it isn't all work, I want to tell you a story about another convocation. It's amazing how one convocation reminds you of another. And I was there to honor a friend of mine that I suspect most of you have heard of. Rafi, the children's singer, baby beluga, everybody's heard of Rafi. He was being given an honorary doctorate at the University of Victoria. And the setup was, I was in the audience, the students, were all sitting in tiers behind the speakers. So they were all there, all dressed in their gowns and so on, like you are today, sitting there in rows, tiers, so the parents could see them and take pictures and all that sort of thing. And Rafi, being Rafi, didn't make a speech. He got up and he sang a song. And it was a lovely song, a Rafi-type song, about love and peace and all good things, and had a lovely simple chorus that you could pick up if you heard once and it had a lovely rhythm that made you want to tap your feet and dance and get up and sing and so on and did those students tap their feet no did they get up and dance certainly not did they sing not a word they sat there like egyptian mummies <laughs> looking serious and i wanted to get up and tell them as i am telling you now i wish you all a very blessed life. May you have a wonderful, good life. Every aspect of it be blessed. But no matter how wonderful your life is, you will never have too many occasions to sing and dance. So when you get one, take it. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Rosalind, for that very informative and uh, uh, informative address and all that sage advice, and for sharing your two graduating presents with us. I'm sure our students will uh, uh, remember that as they journey out from Langara College to their next career. Thank you again. Now we've reached the most important part of this afternoon's program, the presentation of our graduates. Faculty who would like to congratulate their graduates may approach the east side of the platform, which is to my right. Audience members who want to move closer to, to the front to get a better photo of their graduate may also come to the same area to do so. However, we ask that you please remain in your seat until the individual that you want to photograph is in line, ready to cross the stage, and then please return to your seat afterwards so that there is room for others to do the same. Presenting our graduates this afternoon will be Mr. Ian McBain, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Management, and Mr. Daniel Thorpe, Dean of Continuing Studies. Okay, we'll begin with the Diploma in Accounting. Raymond Joseph Berdaba Abase. Chris Siu Chi La.
Isabel Yoksun Le. Ingji Lu. Graduation with distinction, Evangeline Rose Garcia Moreno. Graduation with distinction, Leah Monica Rosetta Ribaya. Nicholas Torado. <laughs> Stephanie May Collado Vallejo. <laughs> Wei Ming Lam. Jing Yang. <laughs> Yan Feng He. <laughs> Tian Sheng Yu. Associate of Arts degree in Asian Studies, Titus Christopher Joel. <laughs> Angela Tuntao Luang. Bachelor of Business Administration, Abdur Abbaspea. <laughs> Miguel Areas. Gordon Belissus. <laughs> Justin Christopher Blackwell. <laughs> Giuseppe Benito Bruzzisi. Samantha Marie Burtnick. <laughs> George Wilson Castillo. <laughs> Tina Chen. Charlene Cheng. Andy Chow. Victoria Chow.
Risa Santos de Guzman. Casey Du. Rashad Reda El Barberi. <laughs> Chloe Jacqueline Ellis. <laughs> Timur Fakhradov. Mackenzie Lorraine Fletcher. <laughs> Shenting Gao. <laughs> AJ Gill. Sandeep K. Gill. <laughs> Graduation with distinction, Courtney Satan Haddix. Uh, Courtney is a Bachelor of Business Administration and a Diploma in Business Management. Andrea Howe. Angela Marie Howe. Tran Nat Quat Nguyen. Alexander Matthew Jones. <laughs> Sylvia Marie Jordi. <laughs> Justin Yiho Lei. Curtis James Lamb. <laughs> Alvaro Adrian Lamontagne. <laughs> Corey Devon Lane. Natamon Lokobki. <laughs> Unwu Rachel Lee. <laughs> Eric Lung. Nathan Lee. <laughs> Yang Lee. <laughs> Ju 
Carlisle Maria Townsend Machinsky. Tomoko Mayakubo. Tyler Michael McGuire. Anna Milasevich. Michael James Keith Minamamimaye. <laughs> Jessica Leigh Morton. <laughs> Emilia Rourke Monroe. Katrina Ui Ong. <laughs> Yao Ousu Ose. <laughs> Leah Nicole Perry. Tracy Pham. Mason Stephen David Phillips. Kelsey Lynn Pilon. Rebecca Pina Valdez. <laughs> Maximo Gustavo Pinillos. <laughs> Rebecca Joy Pullman. <laughs> Graduation with distinction. Parmit Kaur Randawa. Mark Regeer. Jordan Michael Rourke. Marina Kelly Russell. Hawa Hari Sako. Rochelle Ann Schellenberg. Kevin Sedler. Chapman Thomas Shaw. Leanne Marguerite St. Jean. Yeah. 
Yongxing Tang. Victor Carmen Sang. George Vulich. Cheyenne Tian. Brody Chase Wasserman. Malcolm Cullen Weed. Christian Price Weston. Annie Wong. William Wu. David Junho Yao. Dana Zafaratos. Lisa Zhu. The Diploma in Business Management, Jasneet Arora. Liam Kotze. Dawan Kumar. Douglas Lau. John G. Yu Lu, I'm sorry, John G. Liu. Essine Fede Milano. Adrian Carmen Melville. Lily Lam Nguyen. Dorcas Yotundi Ugini. <laughs> Zephyrino Joseph Pena Torres. Gunkirat Kaur Randawa. Harleen Sra.
Jovian Alexander V. Fitzput. The Diploma in Arts and Science for Commerce, Ariam Choi. <laughs> Yu Wei Gai. <laughs> Rabia Mapara. Maria Bianca Prise Caru <laughs> Walid Sarwar <laughs> Jung Ah Song. And Chi Xiong. <laughs> the Associate of Arts degree in Commerce and Business Studies, Olivia Grace Chiang. <laughs> Han Hana Lee. Diploma in Financial Management, Teresa Liu. <laughs> Charlene Minns. Associate of Arts degree in Geography, Erica June Hassencox. <laughs> Corey Raymond Reddle. <laughs> Shizuka Sasaki. Associate of Arts degree in History, Kelvin Raj Pendal. <laughs> Diploma in Marketing Management. Graduation with distinction, Martina Agata Chaplak. Blake Preston Powell. <laughs> Andrew Snyder Browse. <laughs> Billy Jimson Yuso. Keith Brian Limso. <laughs> Graduation with distinction, Brittany Joy Whitmore.
Associate of Arts degree in Psychology, Dea Paolo Venson Barlaon. Serena Bring. Sarah Kamdar. Christina Tina Loganchuk. Maggie O. Maliha Sohel. From the Division of Continuing Studies, Advanced Accounting, Tatiana Cartuccina. Angeline Milano. <laughs> Leila Mohadi. <laughs> Ashkan Rahabi. Professional Accounting Circuit Certificate, Rajwinder Gruel. <laughs> Professional Bookkeeper Certificate, Su Ling O Young. <laughs> Matushani Gunathalaka. Ivy Iskander. <laughs> Ramona Yurka. <laughs> Nadia Sarah Landstad. Gilly Lazo Magrata. <laughs> Patricia Ranain. <laughs> Amelia Salomon Ponce de Forez. Eloisa Sayupan. <laughs> Liu Tan. <laughs> Lillian Tiro. From the Advanced Project Management Program, Sarah Falcone. <laughs> Dane Hazel. <laughs> Gabriella Megan.
Merdad Nahali. Akane Odaki. Luis Miguel Rodriguez Garcia. Olivia Schrader. From the Management Skills Certificate, Dens Go. From the Professional Sales Certificate, Tracy Freund. From the Web Marketing Certificate, Deborah Jewett. Jane Welligan. From the Web Publisher Certificate, Orson Chan. Charlene Gardner. Trang Pham. Joshua Baker. From Medical Spa Aesthetics, Sahar Atapur. Jihan Zaki. From Yoga Teacher Training, Alexi Kra Vanessa Bornan. Candace Burgers. Denise Schwartz. That concludes the presentation of our graduates. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me with your applause and cheers in congratulating the graduates of 2013. Well done, thank you very much. And just before I bring this afternoon's ceremony to a close, uh, there are a few thanks I would like to extend as well as make a few announcements. First, uh, much uh, like our President Roy Dakin, I'd like to extend a sincere thank you to all of our family members and guests who are here to support their son, daughter, or special friend. Um, uh, you're here because you love and support that individual. You have given 
uh, your time, your money perhaps, and uh, have given your support throughout. And so the success today of these young men and women is certainly in, uh, indeed a reflection of your success. So my congratulations to all of you, mom, dad, and friends. As well, a big thank you to the college employees, students, and volunteers who helped uh, to make today a very memorable one. And I would also like to thank our theater arts students, Joy Castro, who sang O Canada, and Masai Day, who provided the music prior to the ceremony. At this time, I would like to invite our graduates and all of our guests to attend a special reception sponsored by the college and the Langara Students Union in the Langara Student Union building. As you exit the Convocation Hall, you'll be directed to the reception area. There is signage outside of the Convocation Hall to help direct you as well. And a reminder to our graduates, I'm sure you want to shed these fashionable black gowns, and you can do so by returning your gowns to the gown room uh, following this ceremony. I now ask the audience to remain seated, seated while the graduates proceed from the Convocation Hall. Once the graduates and the platform party have left the hall, guests may leave the auditorium through the doors at the rear of the hall and meet their graduate at the reception in the student union. Once again, congratulations to our graduates and good afternoon. <laughs>